Demonic Angel. Today's tarot is uh, the Six of Pentacles. Um, and this is actually the, the associated tarot with President Marbus of uh, the Ars Goetia. Um, each demon has a specific uh, associated tarot card, um, planet, day of the week, uh, time of year, these kinds of things. And I think it's really great when people can utilize that uh, and, and they really, ha you know, they have that patience and they wait for those correspondences to either align or they, they get uh, all the su those supplies. And I, I, I generally like to do most of them. Sometimes I just do the what, what feels right, when feels right. But uh, it's, it's, it's still something that I always kind of have in the back of my mind that, that those correspondences, they just build, build to a, you know, a ritual or a spell. Um, this is, in my mind, this is the perfect tarot card uh, for President Marbus. Um, but, you know, and I'll give the, the straightforward um, interpretation here and uh, such, but, um, but I really like it because the, the reason that this kind of really, that I even mentioned President Marbus, President Marbus is this god, uh, demon, you know, in human spirit that uh, is attracted to humans, has a relationship with them. And it really kind of, for me, is like, oh, the gods, uh, the demons, um, they're really attracted to us. They, they live through us, and they really enjoy the things that we do when we, when we, when we invite them into our space, when we praise them, they get to uh, feel that with us. And um, this is, you know, in my mind, here's President Marbus giving to, uh, giving like fruits of knowledge, basically, to, to humans. Um, and, uh, and so that, that, that kind of, um, I really like that. But as far as just the straightforward meaning of this card, um, the Six of Pentacles, um, you know, we've got that kind of halfway through uh, a, a suit. And so this is, this is kind of that, um, we're in the middle of the journey here. Now we do have this guy who, um, you know, it, it, he's a, he, the background to them there's a castle, if you could kind of see behind the guy's robes. So he's probably a really rich guy, you know, and he, he's come to town to, and he's, he's, he's kind of dressed like a peasant, really. I mean, he's got on uh, nothing really fancy. Uh, he's just dressed like, um, we, I was just doing a, a card on a page, and he's dressed very similar to a page. He's even dressed similar to these beggars. So even though this guy here, he probably um, lives in this castle, he, he's appearing as a common man. Um, and so that, that's kind of, you know, like when I talk to people who are rich and stuff like that, um, or they're philanth philanthropists, um, I mentioned how, like, if, if you ever make it big, if you ever have money, the way to still stay connected, um, to stay grounded, is by doing these kinds of um, things. Uh, don't, you know, appearing, um, living as a normal person still would. Um, just because you have all this money, you can still make your own coffee and teas at home, save money. Um, you can still go pick up garbage on the side of the road. You can do, you could, you could go, uh, if you don't want to, um, contribute your time, you contribute your money to a, whatever charitable cause. By doing so, you remain balanced. You still remain connected um, to, uh, you know, a lot of your, your roots, let's say, where, because obviously even most people who are celebrities or rich, they, they once were not. And so I think 
that this is kind of a way to con reconnect to those, those roots in this way. But we also have, which I, Justice is the only other tarot card where we have the scales. So this is, he, this is a relationship of give and take that is completely balanced. Um, he is, the, the gentleman in the red, he is giving to these people. Um, and they're taking things that they, that they truly need. You know, that kind of um, idea of uh, Malinowski's uh, hierarchy of needs where, you know, spirituality is at the top, but uh, that, that can't really come until needs such as food and clothing, shelter, and some basic companionship are met. Um, these people need, they need food. They need, uh, they need that kind of nourishment. And so this guy is providing a basic need. And that it's, it, it's balancing the guy giving. And the people who are taking it, they're not taking things like, they're not going to buy booze with money. Um, they're, they're taking this actual food and nourishment, and that is a basic need. And anytime us humans help each other with basic needs, there's a really elevating quality for both us and the people we help. Um, you know, these, like I said, these people are taking things that they, that they need. And it, that's a very, um, it's a very balanced relationship. So when we turn to uh, just people here, these are people who are um, in, in this need, um, in, in an actual need. And this is a guy who has a lot of stuff. So this is... It does remind me of the gods kind of um, interacting with, with humans in this way, in a positive way. Um, sometimes, you know, you just wish you had something, a little bit more money, or you um, wish things were going your way, and you, you know, those little wishes you have in your mind, and sometimes when things really kind of just go into place for you, it really kind of, you know, reminds me of the gods being drawn to people um, and living through people in this kind of a way. Because that's kind of how um, they experience these things. Um, but yes, this is, this is completely a balanced thing. So the reason I keep talking about how these people are tr they, they're truly in need of food you know, and this guy, he really has a lot to give, is because that is truly balanced. Um, now, let's talk about the reverse a little bit here. Reversed, um, the scales are not uh, <laughs> balanced, because usually because, let's say a person, it, let's say they're rich and they start giving uh, money to... Um, to a family, uh, let's say, oh, I'm trying to help pay for, um, you know, this guy to go to school or something like that. But then, oh, they they want more, they want more, because the money is going for drugs, not schooling. And this whole time, you know, this this uh, basically this um, the. The giver is being fooled, duped into uh, giving to a cause that is not real. So that's not right. And it's just, here's this situation where it's enabling. And uh, the, the, the person receiving this, right, they're not learning something. Uh, if, you know, they're just being enabled in that way. The, um, so that's not a balanced thing at all. It's not a good situation. And just because... Uh, somebody is giving and being charitable does not if they're if they're lied to or taken advantage of um, or it's like hey I need more I need more like like a kid like a rich kid just pursuing parents for more money hey well you just bought new shoes so now I need more money for this and this and this and it's just it's just draining 
this isn't a truly balanced relationship of give and take feeds both the give and the take equally, cleansing the, the auras and the chakras of the people involved. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very healthy experience. Whereas something reversed like that is not. It's just draining the person giving. And it's, it's not doing anything for people taking. Now also when we talk about the takers in, in a reverse situation, they're not having basic needs met or they're not pursuing a, 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 truly, a truly admirable goal such as, let's say, somebody really going to school. They're uh, pursuing drugs, materialism, any kind of addiction. Um, and also they're lying, so they've got all these things going going there. And so that there's just that element to it where once you have um, your basic needs met, let's say, then you should be able to help yourself, right? Um, create <laughs> ways to, to budget your own finances, um, make jewelry and sell money, whatever, right? If you really want something and you have your needs met, then that's what it truly is, is a want. It's not a need. You can then, you know, fulfill your own wants um, because you have your needs met. And you, you can do that by yourself because there's that point where that should be cut off, okay, um, with the give and take kind of a thing. Once basic needs are met, this kind of thing um, should, should not be happening. Now, the only other uh, mention I'd like to have here about the sort of you know symbolism and such is that um, sometimes this is you know when I look at it like oh it's the gods um, or it's people whatever uh, somebody's giving knowledge to somebody learning like you know like in the the hero fint and stuff but this is almost like uh, you know since these people are, are out out there and they're on the streets kind of um, just kind of learning um, tips and tricks and whatever for different things from other other people. And somebody really knowledgeable, experienced about a certain thing just wants to put this information out there about whatever it is because they want tr you know, to true knowledge to be for everybody. They want to uh, help people learn different things better. This could range from things like uh, apprenticeships um, uh, to teaching the occult. Um, that 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 is this you know share uh, giving knowledge for the the true pleasure, um, the 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 burning need to give uh, to share knowledge because knowledge is the best. I mean it, it's. It's, a, it's almost like on the, the left we have, you know, sharing basic needs, but on the right we have, um, you know, sharing knowledge. And that is, you know, that's priceless. No matter rich or poor, whatever you, your circumstance, once you really learn a lesson, um, whether it's about like I always am learning, um, even though I cook pretty good, I'm always learning better. Uh, this, that won't matter what happens, right, in my life. I'll still go, ah, oh, yes, I... This spices goes exactly well with this dish, right? That's invaluable. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm doing it myself. I'm not having somebody do that for me. So I every time I engage in that project of cooking or whatever, I'm I'm putting this knowledge that somebody something, whether it's the internet, it's somebody like talking, um, shared, and that, that really I integrated that into myself, you know, to make a uh, art and cooking more useful, right? So, very cool. Uh, I love every single tarot card. I love, I love tarot. Um, honestly, it, it's one of my big, big passions, as you could probably tell. But thank you guys for tuning in, and um, I'll probably do a, you know, maybe like a kitchen witchcraft thing, because I got some cool different... Uh, they're like little tinctures uh, that I've been doing in uh, in bottles for different different enzymes or or um, 
you know, things like that, and they, they work a lot faster and they're more efficient uh, because you can put it on your tongue and that gets absorbed in the bloodstream. And they come in those dark glass bottles to protect it from, you know, sunlight and things like that. And I thought, okay, well, this is perfect for my channel too, so I'll see you guys later.